Yaho YouTube, I am Super Genki, and in today's thought of the day, we're going to talk about positive compounding. I think that one of the biggest reasons that people give up on positivity is because they see it as a short-term solution to their problems. They think that if I'm positive one day a week, right, that's going to have some type of effect on my, on my, on my being, on my identity. But here's the thing, positivity compounds. And it doesn't compound in days, it compounds in hours. The more hours you put into being positive, the more benefits you'll be able to reap from positive thinking. However, to say that you are positive one day a week does not do it justice unless you are positive for 24 hours in that week. This is the reason why many people find it difficult to change their identity and to become more positive because they see it as a, a general time marker. Oh, if, I'm, if I try to be positive for 30 days, if I have one, one hour a day, whatever, 30 hours, blah, blah, blah. There's 168 hours in every week, buddies. 168 times four, you get a month. That's a lot of time. And the other time that you're spending, the other time that you're using, are you negative? Are you ambivalent? How are you using that time? This is the reason that it's so hard to change our identities into something more positive. It's not because of what we try to do, it's because we don't understand that the concept is not about days or weeks or months or years, it's about hours. And that's how positivity really begins to stack up. When you start doing it for more hours than you are, the other facets of thought, which I have categorized as negative and ambivalent. Ambivalent is normal, it's, you know, it's just not having feeling about anything. But that's also your benefit here because there's a system, there's a structure to becoming more positive and it's all in hours, in hours of application, in hours of trying to think more imaginatively and trying to become a better version of yourself. You know, if you try to become your better, <laughs> you know, if you try to become a better version of yourself every day for one hour, you might not become a better version of yourself immediately, but think about it like this. Every day for an hour is like seven hours a week, right? We have 168 hours in every week. Maybe you try two hours every day, right? 14 hours in every week, three hours, 21 hours every week, four hours, it's called 28 hours, it compounds. The more time you devote, the more time you devote to getting more positive, the more benefits you'll be able to reap from positive thinking. I said this again, but I wanna just rehash it because positive thinking stacks up. It's just when the stacks are not the majority, when you spend more time binge watching Netflix, as something that I would categorize that as an ambivalent action, you're not going to be able to form a positive identity. And that's what we really need to take into consideration when we're walking down this path to becoming more positive. It's something I have to do. I sleep too much. I sleep way too much, man. And you know, there's always this thought of like, oh, I don't have enough time to be positive. <laughs> well, yeah, you do. You just need to free up some of your time from other things. If you're watching Netflix for three hours, you don't have to get rid of watching Netflix every day for three hours. Maybe just watch it for two hours or one hour. Free up an hour of your time to devote to being more positive. Because if you do this, I guarantee it, you will start seeing a change in your being. My hand is really itchy right now. It's the one that I'm holding the camera with. But in my arm, oh my wow, we're walking on our way to play some piano right now. I got a good melody in my head. Just wanted to say that, YouTube. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment. Love responding to your comments with Genki Energy and Positivity. Share this video with your friends. And yeah, just thanks for watching this. I got to put it down over here. No, my bike. No. No, okay. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.